Welcome. And today we're just going to have a quick little exploration of some interesting places. Nothing less. And sometimes I look at this Pinterest page and my research begins with one subject and quickly escalates into some kind of rabbit hole. And here I'm 20 minutes in and I thought I'd hit screen record. Now this is an arch in Libya in the city of Leptis Magna and just an amazing work of art and here's an oil painting of Baalbek, Lebanon in 1839 and really just imagine these people stumbling upon this and how small and puny they must feel and clearly realizing that they are in the presence of a giant people and really this whole old world appears to have been built by a giant people and people just seeming tiny compared to everything and here's some ruins in Mexico 1874 just a gorgeous picture and everything being underground just beautiful and intricate architecture something that we don't see at all anymore clearly a great people and this is a first for me absolutely amazing and no idea as to why they built this way and I imagine that it has more to do with function than it does beauty although it's absolutely beautiful and more of these patterns I mean just things I've never seen these are absolutely impressive and it's one thing to make a beautiful block work that fits together so perfectly but to have these kind of designs is another thing entirely and a lot of it being below ground level and today I'm just realizing that I've seen nothing and I've seen more than most people and yet have seen nothing you know we have our popular places mapped out in our minds we think we know what exists in some part of the world and then it all changes and just when we think it can't get any better it does and very deep are the rabbit holes when we decide to take a plunge I've never seen these towers before just remarkable with trees on top and just an amazing artificial island and originally I was peeking at the San Francisco World's Fair never really seemed to get enough of it this building was torn down but this one remains and this one being one of the greatest proofs that these buildings were not temporary but very permanent indeed and now I'm remembering where this all started I was looking into the floating building and here being the World's Fair the temporary city and being one of the more beautiful cities in the world only made for a short couple years to be destroyed but my favorite part most recently was the floating building that I featured in a video recently and it was a replica of a building in Ohio a thousand ton building successfully moved two tugboats will tow the building to its new site the undertaking is regarded as one of the most unusual engineering features the building is 131 feet long 80 feet wide and 43 feet high and here it is I'm not sure when this picture was taken if this is at its new location I don't think so 
really seeming like this is here already. And perhaps this world's fair was built around it. I don't know. Here's another little look at it floating. And here's a nice little look at the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. St. Louis, Missouri. This would be a fun one to get into. And really, I've been having some fun looking at a lot of these types of buildings showing proposed proposed buildings or architectural renderings for buildings that may be entered in competitions. Here this is an entry to the Chicago Tribune Tower competition of 1922. And just amazing. And really I'm starting to believe that maybe not all, but many of these may have actually existed and may actually be depictions of actual buildings. And what led me to this thought was the last video that I did about Washington DC and the Washington Monument and how it showed a line at 150 feet. And we're told in the narrative that this line is due to the running out of stone at a particular quarry and they changed stones and they changed quarry sites, and hence the discoloration in the rest of the stone, leading up to 550 feet. But when we looked at the architectural renderings, we see this discoloration of stone even in the rendering, and that doesn't make any sense, which leads me to believe that that rendering was actually the real building. And this leads me to believe that many of these now could actually be real, real buildings, especially when we're seeing these renderings. And I do wish I could read Russian and see what this says. Because the base of this building is absolutely reminding me once again of the Washington Monument and the very Mayan-looking pyramid base that we saw and actually seeming as if everything had been completely buried and absolutely amazing. And I'm certain that this says something very similar, that this is some sort of rendering. And very exciting. This opens up a whole new can of worms to what the ancient world may have looked like. Here, for example, is a look at the proposed building for the New York American, 58th Street and Broadway, Barney and Chapman Architects. Now, again, in this time period, you know, we're talking about the 1850s, early 1900s, and people are even going to think about building a building like this? Even propose building buildings like this? I've never seen anything so glorious and really one would know better than to propose something like this in that time period and even this proposed rendering looks old and really leads me to believe that this may have been here because nobody no american in an early time period with a story that we're given is going to consider building something like this only a hundred years after the inception or supposed arrival of the pilgrims. Just mind-blowing. The Cathedral of Learning, the University of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Just amazing and again looking old. Not sure what the backstory is and it actually seems like a very old photograph just beautiful. And here I believe was a proposed Eiffel Tower. Again, we have to question proposed or or actuality. We do know that a lot of these things were removed. We do see pictures of these existing along the edge here, these kind of uh, little mini domes. And then we see pictures of them being removed. I mean, they're, they're not here in present time. And how much more could have been here? We do see the 
glorious building in the back here that once existed. And here's a really cool one. The competition for the municipal building in New York. Howell and Stokes, architects. The municipal building, merely the proposition. And again, these architects really seem to give their renderings a very old looking feel. Really the top here seeming as if it's actuality and as we move further down looks more like a rendering. Not sure. Only posing the question. Rendering or not. And forgive me, I think this was a World's Fair building as well. I forget where I didn't save the picture, but seeming very Phoenician and seeming very permanent. And lastly, I just wanted to share this little article on the on this bust that was dug up in a rural town. There was a man digging with his backhoe behind his house when he hit a marble bust that had been there for quite a while. The man was shocked as it looked like some old ruin from a Roman villa than something that you would find in a backyard in Maine. They asked the Brownfield Historical Society, but they knew nothing about it. Nobody predominant ever lived in the house, which dates back to the 1830s, and really has stumped the entire town. You know, something that he dug in his backyard about 30 feet under and nobody knows anything about it, the historians, and this has made mainstream news, and nobody has a clue. And then I was watching a little episode of Flat Earth British, an episode about the controllers, and here it is, and we see Martin showing many of these characters, and here the guy's nose seems to have been busted off, but seeming very similar to me and really you be the judge seeming like this same guy and I don't know but since nobody knows I thought I would share who is this man found in the Americas 30 feet under the ground in a rural area really begs for a little more investigation but I thought I would just share it real quick see what your thoughts are maybe if you know who this man is so that's it for today. I do wish I could share more, but that's it for today. I do hope you enjoyed, and have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe.